Hey guys! Salut mes amis! Ok, hallo gebar! Maxime here. A new update is out, as expected and just in time for week 2 of the weekly missions for Scattered Web. Before I go into it, I'm back with Now Drinks, the focus drink with healthy ingredients, no caffeine, no taurine and helps boost your concentration for when you have longer gaming sessions. With the code Banana Gaming, you will get a free shaker with your purchase. They offer worldwide shipping, money back guarantee if you don't like it, and you can use Messenger for any questions. Go check it out in the link below. So this update focuses on new stickers, an improvement for the storage units, map changes, and a certain FPS fix that I might have done a video about. Just maybe. Who knows? Starting with the improvement for storage units. More specifically, the process of depositing multiple items into a storage unit. Retrieving multiple items should also be a lot easier, so this is how it looks right now. Valve has released a cross-promotion with 343 Industries, which is the studio responsible for the Halo series. Halo is coming to Steam and will be known as the Master Chief Collection. So to celebrate that, they added a Halo sticker capsule along with a music kit. Here's an example over on the CSGO Twitter. Good stuff. If you have bought and played a few hours of the Master Chief Collection, you will receive the music kit for free. This is the first time we get stickers promoting another game from another company. That's dope. My favorite one, apart from these awesome ones down at the bottom, is this one. This guy ain't messing around. Things about to go down. Yeah, I have a feeling that this one will be very much appreciated by the community. Next up, Valve has looked into the FPS issue that I made a video about. The solution was to suspend several user interface videos while in game. So it seems just based on this, that the videos were playing in the background even in game. If you have renamed your videos folder, you should probably change it back to how it was now. The last part of the update was focused on map changes for Studio and Cache. Studio is the new map made available for the operation. And here are the biggest changes. Bombsite B is now smaller, much smaller. There's also less cover on the site, but also on Bombsite A. Adjustments have been made in middle, radar callouts have been added, and the rest is improved clipping, fixes, performance, and visibility improvements. Oh, and also the bomb explosion radius has been increased to about 16%, meaning you'll take more damage from the bomb. On cache, visibility and readability improvements have been made as well to better complement the agents. Some of the most used angles on this map should be easier to detect players on now, and that's really appreciated. I still wonder what Valve are going to do about the agents being overall harder to see, or if they even think they need to do anything about them. The best solution that I've seen so far though would be to give the player models higher contrast so it's easier to distinguish them from the background. The new missions have arrived for week 2, and don't worry if you missed any from week 1, they will still be playable. Thank you for watching. Please like this one to show your support, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome! and go bananas.